Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is race number 21 of 22, the second last race of season five here in the NASCAR X2 series, which is a no custom setup series hosted on the NASCAR 15 video game on the PlayStation 3 console. Throbbing Bane in the five car comes into this race third in the standings and he's on the pole here at uh, Kansas Speedway. We're here at Kansas Speedway for the day race. Oh, a little bit of contact. Ken gets into the back of Timac a little bit. Ken in the 47 car comes into this race as the points leader with a five point advantage over Timac in the 24 car who's in second in the standings. Timac's got a run on driver 88 in the 13 car. That's a battle for fourth and fifth. For right now, Throbbing Bane in the 5 car, your leader, your done son 50 in the 6 car in 2nd, Spud 7 fold in the 20 car in 3rd, Driver 88 in the 13 and 4th, Timac in the 24 car in 5th, Punisher Drummer in the 38 car in 6th, in Ricky in the 51 car is in 7th. And it looks like it's Tyler Scott in the 78 car in 8th. And Larson Rocks in the number 31 car in 9th. Look at how close these guys are. Look at the map in the bottom left corner. They, there is a pack of cars all nose to tail. And if anyone makes a single mistake, they're paying for it. It's been a very clean start to the race here. There's only one, two cars that are a little bit distant from the rest of the field at this point. Not many. Looking outside. Right, all clear, bud. Car one back. Ooh, looked like driver 88 in the 13 car got into the wall coming out of turn four that last time by. And Timac, Punisher Drummer, and Ricky will go on by him. Ricky is teammates with driver 88, the 13 car, and the 51 are teammates. Twitch Whiskers drives the 98 car for Dusty Motorsports as well, but she failed to make the feature race here at Kansas Speedway. Heartbreaking finish in the qualification race. Earlier today, there was a qualification race with 13 drivers in both. Two different qualification races and the top eight from both qualification races advanced to the feature race here tonight and all 26 drivers in total receive points towards the championship standings and it looked like ricky in the 51 car made contact with the outside wall it was almost three wide between ricky ty mac and tyler scott for fifth sixth and seventh punisher drummer got around these guys and now he's trying to take Third from your done son. Your done son has lost a couple of positions here. Spud sevenfold in the 20 car finds himself up in second. Car one back. Ricky is knocking on the back door here of your done son. And driver 88 in the 13 car is fighting with Tyler Scott for seventh. Oh, and your done son made some contact with the outside wall there that last time. And when he did that, Tyler Scott got into the back of him a little bit. So your done son has dropped now out of the top five. The pole sitter is Robbing Bain, number five. He's been the race leader since the drop of the green flag. Ooh, ooh, and 
Ricky in fourth making contact with the outside wall. Timax is going to get by him, and that was for third, or fourth rather, sorry. Tyler Scott now alongside him, and that's a battle for fifth and sixth. Someone's already on pit road, and I'm not sure who it is, but some sort of uh, gamble here, some fuel strategy being deployed by by a race team here <clears throat> at Kansas Speedway. If you're just joining us, the leaders are about to start working lap 12. Here, here we are on it now. And this is race number 21 of 22 here in season 5 of the NASCAR X2 series, which is a no custom setup series with 20% distance of real life uh, cup races, 20% distance races, hosted on the NASCAR 15 video game on the PlayStation 3 console. No cautions at every track except for Talladega and Daytona. And then we do what we call manual cautions. So the cautions on the menu are technically off, but there is a race director who will call a caution if, uh, if a two-car incident or three-car incident or more occurs. Solo car incidents are, are not deemed a caution. Here at Kansas Speedway, Throbbing Bain is the pole sitter, and he's led every lap since the beginning. And now we've got a car retired from the race, and we're not sure who it is. Now Throbbing Bain is on pit road in the number five car. He's going to surrender the race lead to Punisher Drummer, who takes over and gets a bonus point. And it's Sean in the number 22 with a connection problem who has lagged out of today's race at Kansas Speedway. Tough break because he was running inside the top 10 in that number 22 car, having a great run. Ooh, so Spud Sevenfold coming to pit roads. And he's going to give up second place. Punisher Drummer remains the leader. He stays on the racetrack. Remember, every driver gets a bonus point if they lead a, a one lap or more in the race, and then there's another bonus point given to the driver who leads the most laps. Looks like Punisher Drummer's going to stay on the racetrack. Timax stays on the racetrack. Tyler Scott, Ricky, they all stayed on the racetrack again. There's cars leaving pit road. Punisher Drummer coming to pit road, Timac coming to pit road as well. Punisher Drummer misses pit road. That is huge. He's got to go all the way around. car in this pit stall. It's going to be four tires and fuel and air pressure adjustments and looks like Larson Rocks, Tyler Scott, Punisher Drummer and a few others on pit road as well. Or not Punisher Drummer rather. He had to go around the track. Punisher Drummer did. He scored as the race leader but he lost a ton of, of track time and track position because of what unfolded with him and now after the cycle of pit stops Throbbing Bane, I'm assuming, will pick up the race lead. Timac will be in second, and Spud Sevenfold has lost the position, and he is running in fifth right now, but I believe he will be running in third once everything cycles through. Smoking Joe on pit road. He stayed out for quite some time there. just turned to the fastest lap time of the race here on lap 18 that was 
The leaders are working lap 19. Throbbing Vane in the number 5 car comes into this race third in the point standings. He's your race leader and your pole sitter as well. Timac 11 runs in second. Spud Sevenfold in the number 20 car runs in third. Ricky in the number 51 car runs in fourth. And Ray, when I say that, the very next lap, Larson Rocks in the number 31 car. Puts on the fastest lap time on the board. These cars are making adjustments. These drivers are getting these cars faster as the race goes forward. So I imagine the best lap time of the race will be lower than what we're, what we're seeing right now. There's uh, another car coming on pit road here. Not sure who it is. But the full second you made up on the driver in front. Way to go, buddy. We're going to take a short break from commentary, guys. <clears throat> We're reaching the halfway mark of the race here. Throbbing being your race leader. Timac in second. Spud sevenfold in third. Ricky in fourth. You're watching race number 21 of 22 here in season 5 of the NASCAR X2 series. Go to www.nascar.com for more information on how to sign up and become a driver or if you want to follow the series closer. Search NASCAR Series on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. You'll find all of our social media accounts. Give us a follow, a like, and a subscribe. We'll do the same right back. And then you will be eligible for the Facebook Fan of the Month Award, the Twitter Fan of the Month Award, and the YouTube Subscriber Fan of the Month Award. We'll come back to commentary shortly. The race leader, Throbbing Bane, is now on pit road. Timac will take the lead, get a bonus point. He leads lap 28 there. Gotta get real easy. 
busy on the fuel. We're to stretch this out a little bit, or maybe it's it. It's your call. Coming in this time. Okay, let's use that clean air. Keep digging. We'll join you once again for commentary full on for a bit here. Time act your race leader, get ready to come down pit road. Alright, he's on pit road. It was key for Timac to get a bonus point. Remember, he comes into this race second in the standings, so he's looking for every point he can get. Ken in the number 47 car comes into this race as the points leader, but he's having a rough race. Throbbing Bane in the number 5 car comes into this race third in the standings, not far behind at all, and he's been dominant. He's led almost every lap. He won the pole. He's been looking very impressive here all race long. Now several cars are on pit road. Punisher Drummer now surrenders the race lead. There's Humpy in the 43 car. He scored in 15th, I believe, two laps down. Sixteen cars advanced from the two uh, qualification races. Thirteen drivers in each qualification race, and the top eight from both advanced to the feature. And there goes Smoking Joe to pit road. He was running in second just a bit ago when he surrendered his running order spot. And now Throbbing Bane in the five car regains the race lead. Timac in second. Smoking Joe is, a, is in third right now, but he's going to be passed by all these drivers who are still on the racetrack. Your done son in the number six car is scored in, in fourth. He'll be in third shortly. Maybe Smoking Joe didn't pit. I'm looking at the map now. Maybe Smoking Joe just lost control a bunch because he's still on the racetrack. He's just losing a lot of time to, uh, to, to all these guys. <clears throat> And now Smoking Joe's on pit road, and maybe he missed pit road the first time around because I just heard the driver ask him if he made it in okay. It's a very caring and respectful atmosphere here in the uh, the world of NASCAR racing. We started off with two different leagues here in the B division of NASCAR Series Racing, hosted on NASCAR 15 video game on the PlayStation 3 console. 
Now we have four leagues officially running and a fifth one launching in the near future. We have the NASCAR Milner Cup Series, which is setups on and 50% distance races. We have the NASCAR X2 Series, which is no setups, 20% distance races. We have the NASCAR Endurance Series, 100% distance races, one race every Sunday. We have the NASCAR Sportsman Series for drivers who are yet to win a NASCAR Series race. 12 races on the schedule, 10% distance races, very short. And we will be soon launching the NASCAR Draft Series, it's called, where there will be four races at Daytona, four races at Talladega in one season, and it's literally all restrictor plate drafting for that championship. Battle for the race lead is heating up a little bit. Robbing Bain's got some company. It's his teammate from Hendrick Motorsports, Tymac in the 24. Getting intense for the race lead, guys. They're also battling for a championship. Throbbing Bane prefers the high line. Timax seems to prefer the low line. Oh! Robbing Vane was going to pit road, I think. I'm not sure. He slowed right down in front of in front of Timac. And Timac got into the back of him. Oh. I was not ready for that. He was right in front of me and he slowed down. I did not know he was going to pit road. Oh man. I'm just going to say right now that I'm not going to talk third person for this. I feel terrible. He, he and I were fighting for the lead and for the championship, and I I was not ready for that. And I know he's going to end up watching the video uh, later on, and I just want him to see this and hear this, that I'm, I'm sorry. I did not mean for that to happen whatsoever. I really did not. And I, I know better than that. I should have been ready for that. That was stupid of me. Okay, guys, get ready. Time back on pit road. He's pulling into his pit stall. He's going to take four tires and uh, just uh, slight air pressure adjustment to the right side tires. It's a, it's a very short fuel run to the finish here. I don't think... Um, Timac would have made it to the end if he took two tires and a splash, so he's going to take the four tires and the fuel since it's going to take about the same amount of time anyways. And now, as of right now, Punisher Drummer is your race leader. Um, Man Anger is in third. I'm not sure who's in second. Timac fourth. Your Dunson is in fifth. And now I believe Man Anger has just given up third. Seven to go. 
to come to pit road for his final pit stop and it's actually Ken in the 47 car who is running in the uh, second position right now. Question becomes, can Punisher Drummer make it to the end on fuel? And we also don't really know where Ken is on his strategy. Remember, he fell back early in the race, the points leader in the number 47 car. So we, we don't really know when he last pit, but Timac's making ground up on him quickly, so we know that Timac certainly has fresher tires than he does, but there's only less than five laps to go now for Punisher Drummer and Ken, and they're, I think that they're both going to do everything that they can to get to the, the end on fuel, the 38 car and the 47. The question is, do they have enough time, and do they have enough fuel? Three laps to go here. Oh, and Ken is out of the race. It was him that was having the connection problem just in front of us here. I didn't know who it was, but it was Ken in the 47 who is out of the race. And Punisher Drummer is doing everything he can to make it to the end on fuel and to stay in front of Timac while doing so. Two laps to go, and he's got a 7.4 second gap lead. He's got one win earlier this season, Punisher Drummer does. He's looking to get win number two here in Season 5 of the NASCAR X2 Series. The gap is now shrunk down to six seconds. Less than six seconds. The final lap. White flag is in the air for Punisher Drummer. Your done son's running in third in the number six car. Smoking Joe in fourth in the number seven. Great run for those guys. And Punisher Drummer is out of gas on the back straightaway. Punisher Drummer in the 38 car is out of fuel. There he is on the bottom. Time Act 11 is going to get around him. And he's going to win. Fifth win of the season for Time Act 11. What a race. Oh my goodness. What a race. A lot of different fuel strategies and things like that, guys. We're going to take a look at the unofficial results here. Sometimes the scoreboard uh, really throws us off and doesn't, doesn't tell us the correct finishing order, so we really need to ask a series of questions with the drivers after sometimes to figure out who finished where, and everybody is always very, very honest in the process. For example, I didn't, Throbbing Bean did not finish in third. That's just one example of the scoreboard not being completely correct here. What a race! 14 of the 16 drivers finished the race, and it was Throbbing Bean who led the most laps. He was the pole sitter, so he will get 22 points for this race instead of 20. What a race, guys. Go to www.noscar.com for more information on how to sign up and become a driver. And search NOSCAR Series on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to find all of our um, social media accounts. Give us a follow, a like, and a subscribe, and we'll do the same back. We'll see you at the championship race for Season 5 of the NOSCAR X2 Series. 
at Atlanta Motor Speedway, which is the next round coming up.